Wow, week 15. Really, we are on the downward slope of the semester, which is good news for all of us. Summer is heading at us, and the end of the class is in sight. So here's the thing I want you to take away from today, besides all the other stuff I'm going to say, is that at this point in the semester, it is not too late for you to get caught up. So most likely, if you're watching this message, you're probably caught up and actually clicking along each week, maybe even ahead a little bit, which is awesome. The thing I want you to know, though, is if you're watching this, you know, and you're not, you still can. Remember that this class, you can submit late work, okay, which means 25% off the points possible, but it is so much better than a big O nada in that grade. So, just keep that in mind. So if you're submitting something late, you do get it discounted, do it though. And what I'm going to talk about today is the end of the semester schedule. And today I also released the final uh, so that you can take that. You can take that up to three times if it was me, because it's 150 questions. I'd probably only want to take it once, but it is really up to you uh, how many times up to three that you take it. Okay. So what I want to do uh, this week's content is some new content related to how the internet works, which I think is great to understand because so many people use something every day they do not understand. And the web and the internet are two different things, right? So the internet is the pipes, the networking, the connections that we make all over the world. And then the web is one of the things and that should clue you, one of the things that we do, now it's one of the major things that we do, but we do so much more in addition to web. There are so many other different uh, things that use the infrastructure of these pipes to do communications, to send data back and forth. I mean, just tons and tons of stuff. But again, the majority of it is what we're doing is the web. And many of the other things that, we, that I actually was referring to actually uses what we call the web protocols. So I think it's just good to understand these concepts, uh, even though we're not discussing them this week, I still think the more you can walk away understanding this fundamental part of the way our world works and why it's important and why we need to understand it is good. But the discussion this week is really about your feedback. And I will tell you this, and this is not like me just saying it, it, your feedback is important to me. One of the great things about being able to teach a class semester to semester for me is that I can hear, listen, and take your feedback into consideration and figure out how I can make this course better. Because honestly, that's my goal in all of my classes. Like, how can I make it better? And your feedback is a major driver for that. Now, it's not the only driver, but it is a major driver. I have other requirements that I have to meet as far as curriculum and standards and, you know, departmental policies and other things like, like, like this particular class is taught by many instructors. Now, other classes that I teach, like my uh, JavaScript, my Python, which I think I might see a few of you in those classes. I'm way excited. If you want to know more about those, also let me know. Um, so those classes I have almost complete, say, in, but I still have to meet the standards of curriculum. I guess my point about this is that I appreciate your honest feedback uh, in this week's and I'm going to give you points for it. So it's not that I'm encouraging you to say good things, right? It's like oftentimes the thing that the students say that is their thoughtful th feedback and it may not always be good is helpful. So just give your honest feedback, okay? All right, so the rest of the stuff, stuff we've seen before, I believe this is the last week the My IT Lab, right? So the My IT Lab will be ending this week with our last PowerPoint. And the chapter 13 is your last chapter quiz as well. So just rolling ahead a little bit next week, which I will do a video next week, is the JavaScript Lab that I've been talking about when we were talking about coding. And then the final. So from a calendar perspective, this is what it looks like. So what I'm talking about right now is May the 3rd, so the first week of May, uh, the items that we're talking about, and then we have the JavaScript uh, and an attendance post, and then the final is here. 
So today I went into my IT lab and I made the final available. Okay, so it's 150 questions. Now here's the key I want you to understand. The My IT Lab final is based on the chapter quizzes that you've taken in Canvas. So don't let it throw you off, but just understand that the location of the final is actually in My IT Lab. So again, normally you've been taking your chapter quizzes, right, here in Canvas, right? But for the final, you'll be taking that 150 randomly selected amount of questions, and what that means is everybody's quiz will be a little different, um, in my IT lab and reporting like you have been doing all semester into Canvas your percentage of that 150 and really you can do it as a percentage but it helps and this is what I ask generally give me your how many you got because I just tell you why Canvas report the way it, the item is set up is by 150. So what I want you to do is give me the number of questions you got right. You can express it also in your post as a percentage, right? But what I care about is the number of questions you got right. So make sure in your post you actually do that. Now I'm talking way ahead to the final. So one last thing I want to talk about with the with the last week. So and let's go back to calendar. So for our last item which is on May 19th. It is also the day, harping back to what I started with, that I started talking about the late work. So if you're going to do late work, your last opportunity to do it is going to be that night, Wednesday night, May 19th at midnight. Okay, so what I do on the 20th is I wake up, I grade whatever's been submitted, and I'm going to talk about your grade and helping you understand ways to better understand your grade in a minute. But, and then I will shut out once I wake up on the 20th, the ability to work on any more course work. And then at, after that morning, after I do that, then you'll have 24 hours to ask me any questions about your grade. And then on the 21st, the last day of the semester, I wake up in the morning having hopefully answered questions through the day, but if I got them overnight, I'll answer them the next day, and then I'll post grades into Canvas. Okay, so at that point, if you're asking me after the 21st of the morning of the 21st, it's too late. So don't wait that long. Matter of fact, don't wait until this last week. Do it now. Okay, got all that? So the 19th of May, last time to submit late work, last time to attend, submit your grade for your final. It is available in my IT lab. Matter of fact, you can see it. It's right here. It's under, let me just show you. I played with it just a minute ago. Uh, it's under coursework, under where the labs have been uh, in the prior, uh, submit, prior assignments. So if you go into exams and you go in, you will see it here under final. Okay, and this is where it is located. And when you click on it, you get, now remember at this point, this shouldn't be an issue because you all should have that pop-up blocker in, not or disabled for the site. So you can see all the questions, right? Now you can save for later. Uh, once you're done, you submit for grading, right? And it is all multiple choice, 150 questions, okay? So it's available, you can do it, you have three attempts. Do create the PDF, put it in there. I think I've talked about everything except one really important thing that I hope I'm not the first one to tell you, but if I am, you're welcome. Here's what I mean. Let's go into our course real quick. Let me go in here. So I'm gonna change this to be a view that you have, okay? So the view, and this of course is not anyone's grade, it's just based on uh, the ability of the me uh, to see, right? So what this is, is you know, your grade obviously looks different than mine, shows items that are missing, right? Um, remember, attendance is not part of your grade. It is my reporting requirements to the Canvas, okay? So when you're worried about maybe that one point, it does not affect your grade. It is just what I use to report and to give you this kind of information. The one thing I want you to know, not one thing, 
But what you can do here is you can go in and actually put what's called a what if grade. So what if, right, I made 15 there. And what if I ended up doing that? I know it's 75% off, so maybe that's the most I could get. And probably where this becomes most important, and because all these are probably filled out for you, is more here towards the end on the final, right? Because the one question that you no longer have to ask me and most instructors is what do I need to get on the final to achieve either a passing or a specific letter grade? You can answer that yourself, right? Now, again, what this, what this assumes is the following, is that all the items prior to the final have been filled out. Now, they're filled out by me as I go through and grade, right? So I grade work submitted every night. And then um, on the items, once the items are due, I go through and if you didn't put, uh, if you didn't submit anything, I put a zero. So if as long as all items have a grade, then you can answer that question of do I need, what do I need to get to achieve which letter grade? Okay. So first, and if you if I haven't graded them yet and you're working ahead, then just fill out what you think you're going to get. And then that will help you answer that question. And again, remember I was talking about attendance, right? So it's not a part of your grade. And then once you fill out that total, again, this wouldn't be a good example because all these other items aren't filled out right? It would at least tell you what you got as far as a percentage on the final. And it would show you a calculation, but until all these items are filled out, it doesn't actually give you that answer, but it gets you closer. It gives you, and this is the key, right? So knowledge is power. So I just want you to know these particular things about how to answer some of these fundamental questions, which used to be harder as a matter of fact, I used to in the past make students actually create a spreadsheet, which I still think is a good idea. Uh, but in this case, Canvas, and I was ecstatic when I saw that they did this because Blackboard, what we used to use, did not do this, allows you as a student to actually do this. And what it will do is it'll tell you, let me just show you up here, right? So this is actually not, so what happens is because it's not your official grade, it's what I would refer to as your what if grade. You can actually just refer back to your actual grade and it'll just clear those items that you've put on there. Okay, helpful, was it? Yeah, I don't know. So. This video is really intended to give you that, how does the end of the semester work? What's the timing of that? So my question to you is, do you understand when late work is due, how many times you can take the final, how to answer that, what do I need to do, the what if, right? Do you understand all that? Do you have a question about any of that, right? Now is a great time to ask. All right. Peace out. Have a great day. Uh, enjoy wherever you're at today. Today where I'm at, which is in this case my house, shocked, but the weather is beautiful. It's getting warmer each day. Things are growing. Our garden is just going gangbusters. I love, this is part of my joy in life, is that I love walking out to the garden, picking, cleaning my vegetables that I get to eat, makes me feel so amazing, not only physically, but just that connected to the world. So find whatever it is that connects you and roots you into the world and have a great day.